Hello, hello, Mr. Eduardo Ernesto Hernandez. Drive safe, buddy. Drive safe. Where are you heading to? You're heading home? Good evening, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, uh, sir. It says, yeah, Mr. Balta. Hey, what happened to you, Mr. Balta, yeah. last Friday? <laughs> All right, if you had a family business, that's okay. All right, that's okay. Good evening, Claudia. Good evening. And uh, welcome on board. Hello, Nancy. Good evening, teacher. Okay, so we're, we're about to start, okay? Hello, Caesar. What's up? So how is it going, Cesar? All right, so, so far so good, sir. I hope you had a great weekend, uh, I mean, everyone, all right? If you have the chance to rest, you know, you were very lucky because I didn't, but that's okay. All right, so let me just one second over here. All right, so let's go ahead and, and uh, start the class already. So um, one second over here. Hey, what's up, uh, Raul? How's it going? All right, so let's start with this. Let's start with this. I remember last uh, Friday, um, we, we missed a couple of you. I understand uh, you have uh, stuff to do. Uh, maybe you have an emergency, but that's okay. I mean, um, I, I'm not going to uh, mess into your life over there. All right? So don't worry about that. Just remember that in order for us to approve the module, we have 80% of attendance into these meetings and also 80% of the platform. Okay? That's all I got to say about that. Okay? 
So, lo que estoy diciendo es que asistencia, como saben, 80% y la plataforma por lo menos un 80%. Y con eso nos aseguramos el pase para el siguiente nivel. All right. So that's all I got to say over here, everyone. So that being said, I remember last week uh, we covered uh, this presentation. All right. And right now we're just going to do a review. So let's do a review right now. Okay. Vamos a ver quién, quién se anima. Me have a volunteer, please. Eh, vamos a, voy a elegir a, lo voy a elegir a usted, Mr. Uh, Balta eh, González. I'm going to help you over here. The thing was, o sea, la cuestión era eh, que usted me tenía que hacer una pregunta de do you utilizando las oraciones, you know, using the examples that you have over here. Ok. Y el objetivo era, or the target, all right, era encontrar a alguien que cumplía con este atributo. For example, uh, gets up at 5 a.m. O sea, someone who gets up at 5 a.m., someone who gets up at noon on Saturdays, alguien que se levanta a medio. Esto es lo que hicimos el viernes. And you uh, guys, or everyone, you share information with one another. ¿Verdad? Okay. Y usted, y usted, y ustedes compartieron información. Pero usted no me va a preguntar, eh, Balta, no me va a preguntar, do you get up? No. It has to be a direct statement, a direct question. Entonces usted va a, com a comenzar el enunciado, you know, as follows. Usted va a comenzar, do you, y luego de acá va a utilizar eh, the activities that we have over here. Por ejemplo, usted dice work at night, va a decir, do you work at night? All right? Do you work at night? All right. Okay. Yeah, okay, but right now, eh, sir, vaya, you have a lot of options in here, you know, to choose from. Use one sentence or two and ask this question to one of your classmates. Entonces, ahorita usted va a hacerle una o dos preguntas a cualquier compañero o compañera o participante que esté presente, por favor. All right. Eh, imagínense que tienen un número, ¿verdad? Pero choose. Usted haga la pregunta y diga el nombre, por favor. So ask the question and say the name. Va a comenzar, do you. This is just a wrap up, ¿verdad? Este es un... Eh, Review el que estamos haciendo, ok. Se supone que hasta este momento tenemos que saber ya cómo formular yes, no questions, all right. So you need to know how to make yes, no question. Bye. Go ahead, please, sir. Go ahead. Eh, tengo que eh, primero do you work at, ¿verdad? Cualquiera, pues, cualquier pregunta le va a hacer a su compañero ahorita. De, ok, de... pero voy a usar eh, do, do, you, do, you. Do, you, do you work, do you. No. Solo do you, y luego el verbo seguido de cualquier acción. Okay. Por ejemplo, uh, do you work on weekends? Do you work on weekends? Uh, uh -huh, exactly. Or... Uh, do you work at... Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, César, uh, do, you, do you work on weekends? César. Moment, please. All right, sir. That's okay. Okay. Sería. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, I work uh, in weekend. And, and let's do something over here. All right. And this goes to you, Caesar, and to you, Mr. Balta. Thank let's you. okay. Let's make this personal. In personal. other words, Caesar, give details. Give details. The details. Por ejemplo, ¿se acuerda el audio que, que, que escuchamos? Sí. Like, eh, she works uh, only in the morning. Eh, exactly. It's something like that, right? Okay. Go ahead, please. Uh -huh. Yes, I work on weekends. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, I work uh, in weekends. Uh, eh, sería. Um, eh, yes, tú. Mencionemos el día, si es solamente el sábado en la eh, morning o Saturday afternoon, right? Uh -huh. Sí. Eh, solo. Ok, permítanme. Eh, Saturday. All right. Eh, eh, morning, afternoon, noon. Solo mediodía sería. Only in the morning, you can say. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In the morning. Sorry, in the say, Only the say, morning. Pero, uh, algo, algo quizás más, más directo sería, I work on the weekends. 
but pero on Saturday mornings on Saturday mornings ok ok o puede decir until noon o hasta mediodía verdad que es lo que nosotros comúnmente decimos all right eh, ok eh, let me send this to you right so I work on weekends eh, hago otra pregunta teacher y lo but yes, only on Saturday uh, mornings Right. Estoy mandando esto, César, al chat de Zoom por, para que usted, si gusta, lo escribe, se lo aprende. O puede decir, uh, but, uh, dice, uh -huh. dice on, on Saturdays, you know, until noon. O sea, hasta mediodía. Until, U-N-T-I-L, significa hasta, ¿verdad? All right. Yes, eh, Balta. Go ahead, please, sir. Ok. Eh, eh, para Raúl. <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> or a la <lack> cry right <laughs> that's fácil you don't know this uh, uh, do you do you like a uh, pet do you do you do you like a uh, pet do you like or do you have oh, uh, okay see dog and I have a dog all right oh. Yeah, he said he has a dog, right? And he loves pets. Yeah, is that what you said? Uh, he, he, all right. He's a lot of pets. He loves, okay. Thank you. And what's what's uh, your dog's name, Raul? Uh, Jingo. 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 <laughs> so, <laughs> so Christmas is always with you. <laughs> Jingle bell, right? <laughs> Why Jingo? Why? Um, if I may know. Eh, ¿Cómo decirle? Because, mm, bueno, mejor lo digo en español. That's okay, that's okay. Cuando estaba pequeño, eh, una vecina tenía un perro y casi solo aquí pasaba. <risa> pasaron las décadas, tuvimos un perro, entonces en honor a aquel perro le pusimos jingo a este. Ah, está bien. Jingo. Está bien. All right. In eh, memory, childhood eh, memory. Ok. Nice. So it, that is as a tribute, like a tribute, como tributo, ¿verdad? Yes. As a tribute. a tribute, a tribute. It's like a tribute, ¿verdad? Tribute significa tributo y también significa sacrifice, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso es tribute. <laughs> like castics, right? En mayas. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver a quién ponemos de tributo ahorita, ¿verdad? No en el sentido de pagar honor. Sino... Uf. <laughs> no, just kidding. All right, so Mr. Balta, yeah. now, now uh, let's see. Como, como dicen mis compañeros bromeando, ¿verdad? Ahora es desquitation, ¿verdad? Ahora es el desquite. No. <laughs> All right, either Cesar or Raul, take cover, please. Vamos a ver. One or two questions to Balta, please, if you don't mind. Una fácil, por favor. <laughs> All right, vamos, vamos, Raul, si gusta. Luego Cesar. All right. Let me see. Do you ride a motorcycle to work? Uh -huh. Do you ride a motorcycle to work, sir? Um, Restregado like Raul said last time, right? <laughs> <laughs> be careful, be careful. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yes, sir, or not? Uh, no, 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 sé ni manejar moto, nada. All right, so you say no, I... ¿Cómo se dice no? Cuando le, cuando le dicen que no se va a casar. No, ahí sí va, rapidito. No, I. No, I. No, que yo. Y Claudia, voy a decir que malo el hombre. No, I don't, sir. You say no, I don't. All right. No, I don't. Y ahí, no, lo, hace, don't. ahí lo hace personal, ¿verdad? Sí, ya serio. Uh, I drive a car or I take the bus or I drive in somebody else's car or me voy en otro carro, me voy de ride, ¿verdad? All right. Si usted, ¿Quiénes okay. de ustedes les dan ride y hacen como varios compañeros se van en el carro? ¿Ninguno de ustedes mm. hace eso o en una moto que van hasta cuatro? <laughs> <laughs> no tienen esa, por ejemplo, en mi trabajo cuando es presencial, Uh, we take turns, let's say, uh, like driving. 
Por ejemplo, on Mondays and Tuesday is me, and then I pick up two more. ¿Cómo se llama esa acción? Carpool. Car, Car luego pool como de billar. Pool, carpool. Entonces la acción es I carpool with my friends. You know, can you say that one. Porque que le den ride es que solo una vez, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero en ese caso, ustedes, sometimes, you know, you give for the gas or you just okay. pay with, with the ride and everything. Or the carpool. Como carro y luego pool. O, O, L. Right. Gasolina en inglés. Gas. You say gas. Gas. Yes, gas. 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 Okay. Yes, gas. Carro dice and leather and super and leather. Ajá. Ajá. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. So, carpool. O sea, la, 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 la palabra técnica, eh, ustedes que trabajan, ¿verdad? Eh, en distintas áreas, en in, in different fields, ¿verdad? Diferentes áreas, fields, ¿verdad? Fields como campo es fields o áreas, eh, util, se abren palabras eh, específicas, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, en ese caso sería fuel, fuel, fuel es el combustible, fuel, ¿verdad? Fuel. Estoy mandando todo esto al chat de, de, de Zoom, ¿verdad? Este, creo que son palabritas que de repente nos ayudan. Mi filosofía es lo siguiente y lo voy a compartir, ¿verdad? Eh, la cuestión de esto de aprender inglés. Sí importa mucho la gramática para hablar correctamente, pero para que usted tenga una conversación y hable de distintos temas, no me va a mentir, el vocabulario es indispensable. Por eso yo soy de la creencia que entre más vocabulario usted sabe, está más preparado para por lo menos entender y darse a entender, ¿verdad? Entonces es una conversación. Por eso es muy importante que usted anote, lleve ese vocabulario, aunque no se lo aprenda, usted dice, ah, me acuerdo de haber escuchado eso. Y ya lo busca. En that's the idea. All right? That's the idea. Porque si no utiliza el vocabulario, you know, you're going to forget about this. That being said, dicho eso, vamos a mandarles esa frase, ¿verdad? Me gusta compartir la frase de los teachers, ¿verdad? That being said, Right. Durante la clase también yo hago una, una compilación de todas las palabras que les doy por lo menos en esa clase y les pongo la pantallita en blanco, ¿verdad? Así como esto. Remember last time. Take a look. Take a look at this. Uh, Balta, Mr. Balta. Me, me refiero a usted, no porque los demás, o sea, no son importantes, sino porque tengo memoria, ¿verdad? Igual que los salvadoreños, ¿verdad? Corta. <laughs> y, and I remember you were not in class. Entonces me acuerdo que usted no pudo estar en clase. Entonces, por eso le digo, so, para echarle la mano. Okay. Eh, eh, so, this is the vocabulary that you missed last Friday. Varias palabras, all right? Varias all right. palabras, ¿ok? Ahí se la dejo. Creo que nos compartieron screenshots. Creo que Raúl fue el que mandó screenshots o alguien más por ahí. Mm -hmm. And then they helped us with this. ¿Ok? They helped us with this. Entonces, ya tipo 10, eh, the, you know, around 10 p.m., I'll be, uh, you know, sharing this with you. Right? Más tarde le voy a mandar todas las palabras y la voy a explicar si ustedes prefieren. So, the word of the day, February 8th, 2021. 2020. All right, 2021. Uh, and uh, let me just one second over here. Here we go. One second. All right. It's the following. Let's see. It's a piece of cake. Vamos a ver si está hoy en honor a quien le estoy poniendo esto. Let's see. So he, yes, he is, right? Así que Mr. Nelson Ivan Hernandez. All right. Eh, spoiler alert, please. Usted sabe la respuesta, pero ahorita guardémosla, por favor. All right, Mr. Hernandez Nelson. Okay. All right, thank you, sir. You're going to help me, right? You're going to help me, right? En honor a usted, estamos poniendo esto, all right? ¿Verdad? Porque me dio la idea. Okay, so thank you so much. <clears throat> what, I, what I will give you right now, my friends, are uh, synonyms. En otras palabras, eh, sinónimos. ¿Ok? Es lo que les voy a dar. Después les voy a... Uh, you know, I will discover, I will show you the word but, but, by uh, showing a picture. All right? Second synonym. It's as easy as A, A B, C. Cuando usted dice que uh, it's a piece of cake, está también diciendo uh, it's... As easy as ABC. No le puse el it's, ¿verdad? Porque siempre tiene que ir, ¿verdad? O, 
Este volado, it's as easy as ABC. We say that, right? All right? As ABC. Y creo que con esto vamos a entender más el contexto. All right? Take a look at this. Taking candy from a baby. Pero esa es una palabra así en bruto, ¿verdad? En, 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 a grosso modo. So you need to use it in a sentence. All right? And then you have to go like... Um, eh, tiene que decir que es taking candy from a baby. Ok. Vamos a ver. This one, my, my friends. A piece of cake means very easy. All right. Very easy. Algo irónico que le puede decir de estar de las 8 a las 10. It's a piece of cake. No, it's not a piece of cake, by the way. But no, for most of you, it's not. <laughs> not right, Claudia. <laughs> yeah, you have to make a lot of sacrifices. Okay. You have to be strong, right? I know you have your family, your children play, playing around, and then you have uh, things in your mind and everything, right? But right now, at least, I want you to focus on this. Cuando usted dice que algo es fácil, o como decimos, ¿verdad? Como pegarle a un bolo. Como pegarle un bolo, o como dicen, oops, o como decimos, chiche, ¿verdad? Pero I'm talking about, like, if it's easy, right? People say that. So, como pegarle un, a un bolo. Quizás la traducción bien de caliche de nosotros, Raúl, es que esta. Desactivado el audio. Ah, perdón, sí. Taking candy from a baby, no, but that's okay. Esa sería como la, la traducción para un adulto. Como quitarle un dulce a un niño es como... Ajá, pero como pegarle un bolo, sí, sería para que nosotros no se nos olvide. <risa> All right. So, that's the idea. Thank you. So as easy as ABC. Entonces, yo le digo, okay, go practice this conversation with this. Ah, a piece of cake. A piece of cake. Facilón. All right. Or, ah, okay, let's do this. Easy as ABC. Solo dice easy as ABC. Lo anterior que dice, ah, es easy. No, no, eso solamente es una frase más completa. Okay. Or usted dice, okay, this is, uh, this is easy, right? It's like, it's like, it's like, como, like, L-I-K-E, it's like taking candy from a baby, right? Entonces usted lo único que le va a agregar es like. Like no solamente significa gustar, ¿verdad? Ahora tenemos que like tiene otro significado, ¿ok? Like. El inglés muchas veces carece de, de, de palabras eh, femenino o masculino o cosas así, ¿verdad? Pero... Se pasaron cuando de repente, cuando, cuando de repente la misma palabra le dieron dos o tres significados. Por ejemplo, de watch, de mirar y watch the reloj. Right? It's the same example over there. Entonces, ese es el, ese es el, 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 el concepto que quiero, quiero que aprendan, ¿verdad? Entonces, like, y los gringos ocupan mucho eso, fíjense. Perdón. Eh, creo que si alguien entra tarde, no me va a entender aquí estos garabatos que estoy haciendo. Right. Oops. Más o menos, right? Like. Ustedes dicen, okay, it's like taking candy from a baby. Okay? Like taking candy from a baby. O como dijo Raúl, como pegarle un bolo. Right? So, um, now Peter. you have... Yes, sir. Eh, yo tengo una duda. En estos términos, digamos, eh, si nosotros lo utilizamos, eh, alguien que habla inglés nos va a entender o... ¿Tendería malinterpretar lo que nosotros queremos decir o dependiendo del contexto del, en, de que este, en ese momento de qué se está hablando? Buena pregunta, de hecho, gracias. Eso. Eh, no, esas tres palabras, incluyendo, uh, perdón, la palabra común y corriente es very easy, ¿ok? Pero esto es eh, idioms, ¿verdad? Idioms, que son el caliche o los dichos, ¿ok? A piece of cake, ¿right? Mm. Pero si usted dice, ok, this okay. class is, is a piece of cake, this exam is a piece of cake, uh, the uh, listening was uh, easy as ABC, or the, the uh, let's see, uh, the, yeah, the homework uh, is like taking candy from a baby, or was like taking candy from a baby, you are saying it's very easy. O sea, como decimos, okay. todos los caminos llevan a Roma, creo que es, es el dicho, ¿verdad? Entonces, es lo mismo sí. que estamos, todo, todo lleva lo mismo. But that's a great question. De hecho, la palabra okay. que les tengo mañana, que no se la voy a revelar ahorita, ahí sí hay que tener cuidado porque hay unas palabras que son ofensivas. So you have offensive language, so you have to be careful. But in this case, 
como decimos, tiene luz verde, right? So you have the green light in here. All right? So thanks. No problem. Entonces yo los invito, ¿verdad? Que, uh, so I suggest that you use any of these four phrases. It's very easy. A piece of cake. Easy as ABC. And like taking candy from a baby. The same. Lo mismo. Lo mismo. It's the same over there. All right? Obviamente en el contexto, si usted está haciendo una presentación, va a decir, ah, this, this is very easy, right? Or it's a, a CC as ABC. Pero si está hablando coloquialmente, dice, it's a, it's a piece of cake, right? Or like taking candy from a baby. El contexto cambia con quién lo va a hablar, pero no es ofensivo. And they will understand you always. Siempre le van a entender. Okay? Nice. Anybody else has any other question over here? Or should we move on? So we're good? Nice. So let's let's uh, move on over here. Thank you. As always, I need to give you this reminder. And like our friend Rocio says, right? A friendly reminder, right, Miss Pimentel? A friendly reminder. <laughs> right? Okay. Si se fijaron, ¿verdad? No los anduve molestando el fin de semana porque el viernes les dije varias veces, hasta hoy en la mañana. Este le volví a recordar. ¿verdad? Entonces, para que tuviéramos ese peace and quiet, ¿verdad? Esa paz y tranquilidad. Vamos a poner aquí un check mark. Unit 2, más del 90%, 90% of you ya lo completaron, which is great. Así que se merece, ¿verdad? Un aplauso. Iba a decir, ¿verdad? Un refresco, pero por los anuncios no lo digo. <ríe> ok. <ríe> nice. Eh, y luego acá hasta lo personalicé, hasta hay una flechita, les puse, miren. The midterm is due tonight. Este, yo me atrevo a decir que está como un 80% completion, which is great, ¿verdad? Entonces, como aplaudo, no sé cómo va a ser aplaudo así, pero más o menos. <laughs> I like that, right? Yeah, I like that, ¿verdad? <laughs> nice. And then, section three. Hemos comenzado, ya le estoy dejando tarea, ¿verdad? Eh, section three is due this coming Friday, ¿verdad? Due. Do this coming Friday. And um, si es posible antes de la clase o durante el día o a medianoche. Les hago énfasis uno para que no se atrasen y lo otro porque a mí me piden cuentas. Entonces Insafor pide cuentas. Entonces es necesario. Eh, ya estuve revisando el progress that you sent to me and you're doing very great in there. So keep it up, please. All right. Keep it up over there. And, and let me tell you this, the midterm exam, I would say it is a piece of cake or it's very easy. That's what I would say. No porque soy profesor, sino que hay una pregunta que le dicen, uh, what comes after Q? Or, no, what, or what comes before Q? Hay una pregunta que le dice, qué, palabra, qué letra viene antes de la, de la Q? There's one over there. There's another one that, that asks you uh, how many letters uh, are there in English, like in the alphabet, all right? You gotta choose 26, right? Or and something like that. And there, there are some other ones. Por favor, sigan la, la sugerencia de copiar cuando hayan contracciones. You know, copy the instructions y luego solo peguenla. In that way, you will not have any problems. So I remember that Rocío asked me the other day, right? So if you do that, you're not gonna have any problems over there. Okay. Estas solamente son generalidades. Now, what we will do right now, we will start. Uh, with a listening, uh, in this one, it's, um, ahí está, tenía mala conexión, perdón. We will start with a listening about a reading, okay? And this is interviews, the bulletin, and home news photos login. Imagine that this is a homepage, all right? It's a website. What's your schedule like? La pregunta es, what's your schedule like? In este caso, no quiero que se me confundan, por favor. Okay? Like. In this context means, como, como. What's your schedule like? Si el like va al final de la pregunta, significa como. Es como que yo, yo les pregunta, what's the weather like today? What's the weather like? Como está el, el um, clima. Okay. O yo les pregunto, where are you from? El from va al final, ¿verdad? De dónde eres, ¿verdad? De dónde es el where are you from? De dónde eres. So what's, what's your schedule like? Si usted le va a preguntar, y mira, ¿y cómo es tu horario? ¿Y cómo es su horario? Okay, usted le va a preguntar, what's your schedule like? It's scheduled. Another reminder, 
I'm going to ask uh, Eduardo over here. So Eduardo, if you don't mind, please. Do you remember last time when I told you that if you have a C and an H together, so how are you supposed to pronounce this, Eduardo, if you don't mind? The C and the H together, please. So Eduardo, if you would like to help us over here, please. Um, let's see if you're listening over here. All right, so I guess you're not. All right, that's okay. Um, I'm gonna ask the same question over here. Uh, I don't know, maybe Caesar, do you remember that, sir? Or anybody else, maybe Douglas? Cool, it's cool. Yes, pero como pronuncia la C y la H siempre? That's my okay. question over here. Okay. Exactly. Like, like a K. Like a K. Por eso, por eso es que escuela ustedes dicen es cool. C y H. All right. It's cool. All right. So thank you so much. Now let me just mute your microphone back in. All right. So thank you so much. So and then you say schedule. Schedule. Chol. Chol. Como que va a decir es que cholo. Right. Disculpen los, los, no sé, comparaciones que les hago, ¿verdad? Pero es lo que se me viene a la mente. Eso es, es, es sketchol, como un sketch. Luego sketchol, como cholo. Sketchol, sketchol. All right. Sketchol, pero no así tan marcado. Entonces de ahí le baja un poquito, ¿verdad? La fuerza de voz. Sketchol, sketchol. All right. Sketchol. All right. Sketchol. All right. Thank you. Look at the pictures and the labels. Labels, right? Labels. Labels is etiqueta, verdad? Who gets up early? Who gets up late? Y quizás, all right, so maybe you, you, uh, you say sometimes that we spend, acuérdense, spend, S-P-E-N-D, significa, ¿qué significa spend? What's the meaning of spend, by the way? Spend. Anybody over here very quickly, please, para que no me detenga demasiado. Spend. What's the meaning of spend? Alguien que me diga, por favor. All right. Maybe you, Eduardo, or David, uh, I don't know, Dolores, anybody here that would like to help us? Spend. S-P-E-N-D. Spend. So let's let's use the, the uh, online dictionary, right? Spend. S-P-E-N-D. Gastar. Gastar, all right. All right. O pasar, right? You may say that, right? Pasar. Yes. In, in, in this context, Eduardo, yes. Um, spend, yeah, it doesn't really mean gastar because we're not talking about money, all right? But it's like spending some time, like having some time or using time over here, right? Pasar tiempo con. La traducción es spend, right? Entonces, eh, por eso les decía que a veces pueden decir que yo paso mucho tiempo enfatizando en cosas de pronunciación, pero uh, siento que es necesario. So, who gets up? Gets up early. Gets up early. Gets up. Right? Hagamos esa unión de sonido, por favor. Gets up early. Who gets up early and who gets up late? Tratemos de decirlo así rápido, no porque yo lo digo, sino porque así debe ser, ¿verdad? Okay. So, who, so who gets up early? Who gets up late? And voy a leer la introducción. So, so let me uh, read the intro. And then I'll play a listening and you follow along. You do me a favor, please. Reproduzco el, el, el audio. Usted toma nota de alguna palabra, ya sea que no lo sepa. Maybe you don't know the meaning of. Or it's new for you, like a pronunciation stuff. Okay. Anote las palabras, las palabras que usted se quiere aprender o la pronunciación, right? Here we go. Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. All right, so, uh, no se dice Brittany, se dice Brittany. Uh, la cantante tenía una, el spelling, you know, her spelling for her name, it was different. It was Brittany, prácticamente literal, pero en realidad si se escribe Brittany, se tiene que decir Brittany. All right, Brittany. So, Brittany Davis, It, she's a college student, and then we have Justin Wright, or Raid, I think, City Tour Guy, and then Maya Chu, she is a rock musician. 
the thing is that there is a reporter interviewing, entrevistando, interviewing three people about their jobs and their occupations. So on the left, in nuestro lado izquierdo, tenemos a college student or a university student. In the middle, a decir en medio, in the middle or, or, or um, in the center, we have a city tour guide. And right on, uh, on the next side, we have a rock, rock musician, right? Rock musician, okay? So now let me uh, get the listening and I'll, I'll be uh, playing this for you. So just one second over here. <clears throat> Give me um, one moment over here, please. And um, I think this is the one. Page 55, exercise 12, reading, job profiles. Lots of Marco Mendez's friends walk Oops. on four legs. He makes these furry friends beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. Marco is a professional dog groomer. All right, so this is exercise 11 and I chose the 12 over there. So let me just go back. Sorry about that. Sorry, that was a reading, but it's, it was a wrong one. Exercise 11, reading. What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr. All right, so let me pause it right now. Yeah, so right now you're seeing the screen. Okay, and listen to the So here we go. Es pasado, los dejé ahí como un minuto y ustedes esperando. Okay, so here we go. Uh, so one, two, three. So right now, all you have to do is just pay attention and try to understand, you know, what these three people do. Okay. Page 41, exercise 11, reading. What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Justin Reed, City Tour Guide. What's your schedule like? I get up at 6.15 a.m. and start work at 9. And what do you do before work? I go for a run at 6.30 a.m. and then I have breakfast at 7. And after work? I finish at 6 p.m. and I have dinner downtown. Do you work every day? No, I work on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Maya Chu, rock musician. What's your schedule like? Well, I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner at 3.30 or 4. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. All right, thank you so much. Here we go. So this is what's going to happen. So listen to me, please. Vamos a hacer una práctica, pero que lo hagamos nosotros de forma eh, personal, okay? A qué me refiero? Let me play the listening again, a second time. And with your microphone off, you will try to keep, uh, let's see the speed of the, uh, of the reading over there. Okay, you will follow the, 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 say, the speed of the speaker. Vamos a seguir, tal vez la, no la misma velocidad, ¿verdad? Pero the intonation, what they ask over there. Eh, sé que ahorita leyeron en su mente, pero vamos a hacer una práctica, you know, speaking practice right now. 
No importa si se le quedan viendo ahí los que están en su casa, pero usted, y no importa si vaya, usted vaya en el primer renglón, ya van por el final. La cuestión está que no se, se, no, no, no se nos vaya quedando. All right. No es el que llegue primero, sino que saber llegar, ¿verdad? All right. So that's the theme over there. So let me play it again. And at least this, game, this, this will help you get fluent, okay? A esa fluidez. All right. So just one sec, come over here. And uh, here we go. All right, so on the count of three. One, two, three. No importa si pronuncia mal, no, la cuestión es hacer la, la práctica. So what's your schedule like? Look at the pictures and the labels. Who gets up early? Who gets up late? Entonación cuenta mucho. Disculpen que lo, lo enfatizo mucho, pero sin entonación no nos va a salir. All right, so one, two, three, go. Page 41, exercise 11, reading. What's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. All right, so ready, please. All right, so Brittany student, uh, college student. O si gustan, eh, para que no sea tan tanto que lo que digamos, Obviamente, no, no diga lo de la pregunta, pero sí trate de decirlo como que usted es Britney o como que usted es eh, Justin o la otra muchacha, ¿verdad? Right? Es decir, que el audio le va a decir, what's your schedule? Usted va a decir, ok, my classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. Y luego le van a preguntar, when do, you, when do your classes end? They end at noon, then I have a job at the library, etcétera, etcétera. Eso es lo que usted va a hacer ahorita en los tres escenarios. Ok, yes. All right, so here we go. Let me take it back. About their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Justin Reed, City Tour Guide. What's your schedule like? I get up at 6.15 a.m. and start work at 9. And what do you do before work? I go for a run at 6.30 a.m. and then I have breakfast at 7. And after work? I finish at 6 p.m. and I have dinner downtown. Do you work every day? No, I work on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Maya Chu, rock musician. What's your schedule like? Well, I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner at 3.30 or 4. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. No se escucha. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Lo que les decía es que en este caso, eh, el tú se puede decir ru o lo puede decir normalmente tú. I go to work o puede decir I go to work. La T cuando va aquí como que va conectando una palabra con la otra, la puede hacer una R. All right? I go to work. I go uh, to uh, exercise, etc. Pero lo común es, I go to the park, etc. Yo le recomiendo que hay que tener cuidado. Mejor hay que irnos con lo, con lo que nosotros sabemos. I go to work. I go to the park, right? I go to the gym. I go to the supermarket. I go to, to, okay? Thank you. Now, there's something else that you will be doing in groups, but 
sorry, let me just take this back. La, la primera actividad en grupos que vamos a hacer es esta. Uh, in groups of three, you will be the interviewer in the interviewee. O sea, va a ser. Imagine, I'm working with Nelson and I'm working with Claudia. Eh, yo soy el entrevistador y ya sea que yo le pregunte, digamos, a Claudia. So, Claudia, what's your schedule like? Usted es Brittany Davis. And then you will tell me, me va a decir, ok, my classes start at 8 a.m. So, I get up at 7, etc., etc. Terminamos con usted y quizás usted ya va a cambiar el rol de entrevistador. So, interviewer y me va a preguntar, yo soy Justin Ray. Usted va y me dice, what's your schedule like? And then I tell you, I get up at 6.15 a.m. And I start work at night. Y luego con el otro compañero o participante que está, ya sea que Nelson o usted, Claudia, le pregunten al otro compañero, let's see, es, es Douglas que está con ustedes y le va a preguntar, ya sea, Nelson, what's your schedule like? Y Douglas, he will say, well, I work at night, etcétera, etcétera. Y quizás Claudia can continue asking the questions over there. That's the first thing we will do. Y ustedes lo pueden cambiar de rol, all right? Uh, now I'm Brittany. Y Nelson es, uh, let's see, uh, Maya, and vice versa, right? Vice versa y vice versa. So, and that's what we will do. Lo importante es que ustedes, so that you have the opportunity to practice at least one character, es decir, que tengan la oportunidad de practicar un personaje, you know, one time. Yes, por lo menos tienen que practicar un personaje. No importa, métase en el papel de Britney, haga la voz si gusta, ¿verdad? La señorita. But it's up to you. <laughs> All right. It's up to you, so you can get inspired over there. Uh, okay, and then I will, I'll be sending this. This is a comprehension, you know, exercise. This is comprehension. Vamos a ver quién es alguien que mañanea, all right? Un madruganor, un early, early bird, y quién alguien que se acuesta a las dos, tres de la mañana. And nothing happens. It's okay, ¿verdad? A veces eh, podemos resistir hasta la una de la mañana trabajando, eh, I don't know, watching TV, etc. And night... Night owl. Night owl, it's the type of people, you know, who are active at night. And early bird, you know, is most people. Que ya las cuatro o cinco de la mañana ya está, verdad, de toque. All right. Eh, este es el ejercicio, like, uh, comprehension practice for the reading. Entonces, les voy a compartir el reading. All right. Speaking practice. And this is a comprehension practice que prácticamente va a enumerar from one to five. Bring me uh, Davis's uh, activities and et cetera, et cetera. Okay. We're good. Nice. Thank you. So one second, please. Any questions for me or everything is okay so far? So we're good. So, so, me dice Douglas, right? Ni modo ese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. So, you are 615 participants, five groups. And uh, there we go. All right. So, the rooms are open. Go ahead, please, and join them. I'll be sending the, the, uh, the reading to you in a second. All right. All right. Okay. <clears throat> 
All right, so Oscar, uh, join the rooms, please. I'm going to send you to a room so you can practice over there. Okay, ya lo voy a mandar a, un, a una sala. Eh, Oscar. Okay, okay. So let me just one sec from over here. Eh, Oscar, ahí está, no entró usted. Entonces vamos a mandar a este cipotón. Ver a sala dos. <clears throat> Have a job at the library. So, when do you study? Uh, my only time to study is in the evening from eight until midnight. Ahora, si gusta, pregunto yo, ¿quién sigue? Nelson. Nelson, pregúntele a usted y que Nelson le conteste. Ok. What's your schedule like? I get up at 6.15 a.m. and start work at 9. And what do you do before work? Yeah. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8, 8 until mi midnight. Okay. Ahora la otra, si, si quieren respondo yo ahora. Ah, va, va. Um, yo te pregunto. What do you, what do you, what's your schedule like? I uh, get up at 6 is 15 I am and start work at a night and what do you uh, what do you before work I go for a run a room at 6 a uh, 30 uh, I am and uh, then I have breakfast at 7. And after work, I finish at 6 p.m. and I have that dinner downtown. 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 Do you work every day? No. 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 I work on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sunday. And Sunday, correct. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Here. Ahora yo voy a contestar y ustedes me preguntan. Ajá, yo te pregunto. Ajá. ¿Quién está compartiendo? Teacher. Sí, sí. Yes. Eh, teacher. Yes. Ah. Le pregunto, güey. Uh -huh. sí, what sí. your what what's your catcher like? Uh, well, I work at night. I go to work at uh, 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. Perfect. Yeah. What do you What do you after work? Uh, what do you do, right after work? Uh, what do you do after work? Mm -hmm. I have dinner at 3 30 hour. Four. Then I take a taxi home. What time? What do, What time do you go to bed? Mm -hmm. I go to bed at five in the morning. Okay. Yeah, that's. ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say? Uh, uh, until. Until. Se escribe. Ah, sí, until. What is the meaning? Una o, como una o. Ah, until. 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 What, what's the meaning you, you want to say? What's the meaning or not? Until means hasta, all right? Hasta. Mm -hmm. all right, until, right, until. Um, okay. So, uh, tengo una duda. Yes, sir. Vaya, fíjense que eh, yo el fin de semana conversaba con un primo que nació en Estados Unidos 
Entonces, yo le hacía preguntas simples de las que hemos estado viendo. Entonces, él me decía, eh, por ejemplo, aquí donde está, en la parte de donde dice, what do you do after work? Entonces, él me decía, no, te dice, what do you do? Sí, eso lo vamos a ver hoy en la noche, de, de hecho. Eh, ajá, es que yo tenía la pequeña duda, porque en la... Aquí está, mire, para que no, para que mira que no, no le miento. No, 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 es que lo que pasa es que iba a relacionar una palabra que estaba en no, esa no, misma no. conversación. Y está perfecto, de hecho, de hecho es lo, lo que lo, la gente habla, así habla, mire, falta para llegar ahí, ¿verdad? Pero, eh, permítame, creo que ya se me perdió. Pero sí, lo que pasa es que la, las T de tomates y las D de donas se hacen como R, como R. Ah. Yo mm, yo casi le... siempre sí, usted está, decía mira. que en un 99% era ese el caso. Mira, aquí está, mira. Aquí está, mira. Pronunciation reduction of do. Quiere decir, ¿qué va a hacer con el do? Lo va a reducir a una R. Usted va a decir, where, mm. where do you do? Where do you do? What do you do? Where do they mm. work? What do they do? O si usted no quiere respetar gramática, solamente va a decir, uh, what you do? Where do you work? Where do they work? You know, etcétera, etcétera. ¿Ok? Ajá. Pero eh, podría poner la, la lámina donde estamos con la conversación. Es que ahí hay una palabra que, claro. que yo noté que no, se, no, no hay forma. Aquí en esa parte donde está what's tour. En ese caso, el, la T que va acá no, no se puede, ¿verdad? ¿En cuál me dijo? Perdón, que no lo escuché. Eh, donde, donde está Mike en ah. eh, My Show. Ajá. What's your es, es schedule like? Ajá. Donde dice what's Ajá. your... Ajá. Allí no, no hay forma, ¿verdad? De pronunciarla no, de esa lo forma. Que pasa que, no, 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 ahí no, ahí solo se dice what's your Solo lo que pasa es que no va a ser usted como what. No, que va, va a reducir un poquito como what's your schedule. What's, what's your schedule. What's your schedule. What's your schedule? What's your schedule? O dice what is, what it is. No, what is, what is your schedule. What is, what is, exacto. Si lo digo sin contractar, la T se vuelve una R. Pero si sí, lo contractado, la T es tal cual T, solo que no la hace tan fuerte, solo que dice, so, what's your name? O le digo, what is your name? What is, what is your what name? Is. Yo le digo, so, what's your problem? O, what is your problem? <risa> <risa> Así o vaya, pues. <risa> Pero, what's sí, your problem? Your, your cousin, su primo, creo que me dijo, it's right. Eh, lo que pasa es que primero le enseño la forma correcta, después usted decide... ¿Verdad? Si sigue el perder, camino, si, no, si sigue el camino hecho, de Dios. Cuando yo no? se la pronuncié, yo le pronuncié esa palabra tal cual y, y, y él se quedó así como, ¿por qué me lo está diciendo así? Ajá, ajá. es como do? que porque eso es tan correcto para hablar, le quiso decir. Eso Pero no es que esté malo, ¿verdad? No, 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 la gente es que se aprende en el trabajo, aprende de escuchar. O sea, usted solamente se acostumbra, se acostumbra decir, bueno, digamos. Se acostumbra, exacto. Ah, porque él es nativo, allá nació. Ajá. Sí, entonces ellos como hablan, es como nosotros que unimos palabras y todo es lo mismo, es lo mismo. Pero, pero si usted okay. quiere ser más fluido, va a decir, o so, what do you do for work? What do you do? Uh -huh. Sí, es un poco más fácil. Uh -huh. Okay. So, the, okay. next, the next activity, very quickly, eh, Will be this one. Va a poner en orden del 1 al 5 estas actividades, ¿ok? Sencillamente no tiene que anotarlas, sino que solo pone A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, and then you put 1, 3, 4, etc. Y lo otro igual, just in right. You go, same team, solo lo va a poner en orden. De acuerdo a la conversación. According to the, exactly, according to the reading, and then you can take turns reading. Mm. You can go, okay, so uh, she gets up. Then uh, she uh, takes the bus, she goes to class, etc., etc., right? Okay. Nice. Ya le mandé esta imagen, por cierto. Okay, okay. All right, so, gotta go, all right? I gotta go. So, okay, don't okay. worry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bye. Día. Ah, como no, va a correr. Ya aparece. I was, I was en la oh, tercera. Room. Es la dos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Esta sería tres. No, pero... Es que a las seis... Va a, a correr seis, primero. Ya va a correr primero antes de trabajar. Sí, va a correr primero y después se va a trabajar. Uh -huh. Y también sí, a las siete va al desayuno, al breakfast. What eh, time? What time? <risa> <risa> a las seven, me dice. Ajá, a las seven. Ajá. That's okay, that's okay. 
Sería. Right. Tú. He goes for a room. Mm -hmm. La, la one is D. All right, so number one. Is Chicos, yes. Chicas, yo los dejo un ratito. Ya regreso. Está bien. Okay. okay. All right. La dos es E. E, sí. El three es B. El four es A. Let's do something, Claudia, if you don't mind, ¿verdad? Para, quizás para que no nos, no nos, no, no, se, no nos quebremos mucho la cabeza, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Dígame las oraciones, and if it makes sense, it means that everything is correct. O sea, dígame, ah, o van una y una, no sé, va sí. usted y luego, mm -hmm. bueno, go ahead, pues. Bueno, entonces es, he has breakfast is for. Okay. Estamos en Justin. Yeah, Justin, right? Yes. yes. Justin, sí. Sí. Y, pero, ¿gets up? ¿No se levanta primero? Antes de ir a desayunar, ah, ir a correr. Sí, 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 sí. Ya le entendí. Uh -huh. Vaya. Entonces, eh, primero va. Eh, he help, get up. Gets up. Gets up. Gets up. Gets up. Es one. Luego, eh, okay. he goes for room. Es two. Goes he for room. He goes he, for uh, room. breakfast. Uh -huh. He has breakfast. It's three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three. Four. Four. He starts work. Uh -huh. And, and mm -hmm. the last one. Mm -hmm. He eats um, dinner. He eats dinner. Correct. Dinners. Mm -hmm. Okay. Para, para que ya podamos decir, perdón, eh, después puede decir T-H-E-N, que es den. Después. Then. 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 Como, then. Como de dar pan, ¿verdad? Ah. Then. Then. ¿Verdad? Then. 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 All right. Then. then. Okay. Then. Usted dice, okay, uh, first uh, he gets up, then he goes for a round. Y puede decir then, ¿verdad? Ahorita no ah. nos aprendamos otros. Hay un montón de sinónimos, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Pero usted dice, uh, first he, uh, mm -hmm. or number one, he, he gets up, then he goes for a round, then he has breakfast. Puede decir after that, después de eso, after that, eh, he uh, starts works. And uh, finally, finally, or the last one, or, or last, he eats dinner. ¿Verdad? Eso se llaman connectors, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Que nos van puentecitos. En vez de ir diciendo los Palabras mismos. conectoras. Conectores. Okay. Connectors. Mm -hmm. Connectors. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Y Maya Chu okay. uh, lo hace también por lógica. El de Maya Chu es como que bien ilógico. <laughs> right? Because her schedule is different. Bueno, lo dejo un momento. I'll be back because I need to help okay. more people. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Yeah, uh, teacher, hello. Yes, sir. Estamos aquí este, eh, preguntándonos qué es lo que hace eh, Maya. Eh, si, si duerme o, o trabaja primero. Maya, Maya, ¿Sí? let, let me share the screen over here. Vamos a compartir en la pantalla. Maya, esto, esto en realidad no es un examen de memoria ni nada de eso, sino lo que hace como cuando va al súper y le pasan las cosas, le escanean, escanea la información. ¿Qué hace la muchachita? Dice, well, I work at night, I go to work at 10 p.m. Entonces la muchacha como trabaja de noche comienza a trabajar. Esa tiene que ser la primera. Eh, ah, entonces, vaya, eso ah, le dije yo. Eh. Está bien, she goes to work. Y si usted no recuerda, que va después? Co como dicen. Que, el, es que como, ella. Ajá. Como dicen ajá, colocar, si empieza a trabajar. Coloquialmente, copie, ¿verdad? Copie. <risa> <risa> no, en serio, vaya, aquí dice. En, ajá, ajá. En, I play it until 3 a.m. Entonces, go to work. ¿Y qué hacen el trabajo? She's a guitarist, right? Okay. Ya toca la guitarra. Vamos a ver si hizo algún trabajo. Dice, she goes to work. She goes to work. No dice nada más. Solo dice que she finishes work. Mm -hmm. Pero como no me acuerdo, vamos a ver. Copiemos. Y luego dice, I played until 3 a.m. Dice, I have dinner at 3.30. And then, ok. Entonces, aquí es bien sencillo. Se lo pusieron. Comienza y termina. So, it's one and two, right? Ok. Right, because... Uh, 
Dice, have dinner at 3.30 and 4. Then, yeah, pues yes, yes. Si usted tiene, number one, eh, eh, she goes to work. Number two, she finishes work. Y luego lo demás tiene que irlo completando. Okay. She goes to work okay. and she finishes work. She finishes work, ¿verdad? Comienza a las 10, termina a las 3. Luego, then she has, she has a done dinner. Por eso que esto es ilógico, porque a las 5 de la mañana usted va a desayunar, va a desayunar pero para ir en la cena, porque apenas va saliendo. Y el trabajo lo termina. Ah, no, y dice que va a dormir a las 5 de la mañana. Ajá, and then she goes to, to bed at 5 a.m. Entonces usted ya, ya, que ya, lo, ya hizo rompecabezas. ¿verdad? Ya lo hizo. Exacto. Ya lo hizo, va a decir, ok, uh, my attitude, she goes to work, she finishes work, and then uh, she has dinner, I guess, she goes home, porque agarra un taxi, aborda, and then she goes to bed. Creo mm -hmm. que así es. I think that, that's that's right. Entonces, si, si no nos acordamos, go back, you know, to the reading. Regresemos. And then let's go back again, please. Es la mejor forma. Okay. All right? So, mm -hmm. está, está, la, está la comparando. Exacto. That's the best way. Bueno. Si, si okay. finish, uh, vamos a darle un minuto la... más pero dígame eh, los otros ya los hicimos no sé si si estarán bien lo vamos a hacer en, en, en general para que aprovechemos si gusta ah ok ok so let's go back to the main station then all right all right thank thank you <laughs> I'm sorry, so Juan Carlos is still on traffic, sir. Mr. Douglas Douglas, welcome back. Es que ah, es. se me había trabado. Sí, así pasa a veces, me preocupa. Cuando le pase, no importa, lo que le cuenta Insafor son los minutos, y así son, ¿verdad? Ah, ok, ok, ok. Sí, no sé, le, le copian a los chinos o a los japoneses. Pero, pero. <risa> <risa> ok, vamos a ver. 15 in the house already. All right. Thank you, everyone. Let's see. Um, I need to ask this in general, right? Because uh, you are the ones uh, who actually, you know, whose, whose opinion matters. So, la opinión de ustedes es la que cuenta. Uh, would you like to practice in front of the class? No sé, así pido yes. three volunteers over there. And let's see. All right. So, Douglas, you say yes. Let's do something. You're going to be, if you don't mind, Brittany, okay? And then I'm going to choose Rocio. You will be the interviewer. So you will ask the questions, you know, to uh, Brittany. And then Rocio, you, you will uh, switch uh, roles with David and then David will ask you questions. Uh, I'm sorry, Douglas will ask you questions with, uh, about Mike over here. Entonces comenzamos Douglas y Rocio. Luego Rocio uh, response. And then uh, Douglas asks the questions over there. All okay, right. Okay. Go ahead, please. Okay. What's your schedule like? My classes start at 8 a.m. So I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. Uh, when, do you, when do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. library. So when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening from 8 until midnight. All right, now you switch roles. Okay, over here. yes. Uh, what you, what's your schedule like? Mm -hmm. I get up at uh, 6, uh, 15, uh, 15 a.m. Mm -hmm. and start work at night. And what do you what do you do before work? 
I go I go for a run at 6.30 a.m. and then I have breakfast at 7. And after work? I finish at 6 p.m. and I have a dinner downtown. Do you work every day? No, I work on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Thank you so much, over there. And then I'm choosing, um, let's see, uh, Floor, you'll be uh, Maya, all right? Okay. And then uh, Mr. Nelson, if you don't mind, sir, Nelson, you'll be uh, asking the questions over here, okay? Right, so go Okay. Well, I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. What do you have Have dinner? I have dinner at 3.30 or 4. Then I stay at taxi home. Mm -hmm. What time? What is time do you go to bed? Okay. I go to bed at five in the morning. Thank you so much. That was that was easy, right? Huh? Thank you. Okay. Now uh, let me just minimize this. Uh, una oportunidad, I would say an opportunity, right? A learning opportunity. Eh, para hacer las preguntas, usted puede decir el do como una R o una O y lo puede decir when, uh, do, when do your classes end, pero en este caso cuesta un poquito, va a decir when do your classes end, eh, when do you study, o when do you study, aunque cuesta un poco, pero en esta que cuando le preguntan what do you do, si sí puede decir el, el primer do como do y luego como el do, All right? que es un verbo, o sea que aquí el auxiliar, el primero que dice what do, You do, puede decir waru, ¿verdad? Y perdone la, la, el ejemplo que le voy a dar, ¿verdad? Pero a mí así no se me olvida y no vayan a pensar mal. El waru, ¿verdad? Waru, waru, right? Waru. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious over here. Esa por qué. Ok, so what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Les comenté la vez pasada. El do tiene dos funciones, ¿ok? Es un auxiliar. Y es un verbo principal. En este caso cumple las dos funciones. All right. It's, a, it's an auxiliary verb and it's also a main verb. So, and that's why you have, and what do you do before work? And after work, do you work every day? Cuando va al inicio, no se hace así, pero no va a decir, do you work? No, cuesta hacer eso. Pero en esta pregunta que decimos, what do you do after work? At what time uh, do you go to bed? Eh, en esta pregunta, el 100%, usted lo puede decir, what do you do after work? In other words, en otras palabras, si usted tiene do en la misma oración y uno es el auxiliar y el otro es el verbo principal, el primero, haga una reducción de la D a la R y el otro, pronunciando tal cual es. All right? What do you do? That being said, I'll be choosing a couple of you that can help me uh, give the answers out over here. Alguien que no me ha, no he llamado este día, vamos a ver, Claudia. If you don't mind, Claudia, can you help us, please, with Brittany Davis and just tell us, eh, quizás para ser un poquito más natural, all right, esto, si usted gusta, solo dígame las oraciones, just tell me the sentences and decir el número. Everybody will, will understand what you're talking about over there, okay? Go ahead, please. She, she head up. Luego, ella, ay. She? she take the bus, the bus. Okay. Eh, luego, right. she goes to class. Goes to class. Y she work. Y she study. And then, and then she studies. All right, podemos poner también ahí connectors. Les decía, verdad, uh, pueden comenzar first. She gets up. Then she takes the bus. Mm -hmm. After that, she goes to class. All right. Then she works. Así, ¿verdad? Se la estoy diciendo en desorden, since, uh, right? Because I forgot. Para ser honesto, ya me olvidé. Eh, pero la cuestión es, <laughs> you know, it, 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 it has to make sense, ¿verdad? Tiene que tener sentido, ¿verdad? Conecto. Si no, es como que se dicen de golpe, solo decir una oración. Pero we, you're going to learn this little by little. ¿verdad? Vamos a aprender esto poco a poco. All right. Eh, 
I don't know, maybe David, if you would like to help us, sir, if you have this with Justin, uh, like first, he gets up, gets up, obviamente, gets up es levantarse y, y wake up es eh, despertarse, wake up, all right? So David, if you would like to help us with Justin, please. Okay, so number one is he gets up. Okay. He gets up. Okay, so the number two is he goes for the room. All right. Number three is he has breakfast. Mm -hmm. Number four is he star work. And finally. He number five, uh, he eats dinner. Thank you very much over here. Um, all right, so Anayansi, please, if you want to help us on the last one, if you don't mind, please. Thank you, baby. Right, so Maya Chu, eh, Anayansi. Quiero ver, está por acá. O sea, aquí está, sí. Su micrófono, aquí está. Your microphone is off. Tiene todo, ahí está. Yeah, there we go. She has dinner. Mm -hmm. She, she finish work. Mm -hmm. She goes to bed. She goes to work. She goes home. Yo la verdad es la única que no pude, no le atiné a nada porque no, es que no le entiendo que muy temprano, muy tarde va al trabajo. <laughs> right. But let me, let me uh, ask somebody else that can help us over here and then you will understand. Uh, let's see. Raul, please. Would you help us? Or Eduardo. Why is... Uh, Maya's schedule different. So that's my question over here. So why is her schedule different? Thank you. Casi no se le escucha, Raúl. Perdón. Maya, she goes to work. Uh -huh. Number one. Yes. Number two. Um, she finished work. Yes, sir. Number three. She has diner. Mm -hmm. Number four, she goes home. And yes. number five, she goes to bed. That's correct. The thing is, like, thank you, sir. So the thing on the end is that uh, Maya is a musician, all right, a musical. And uh, she goes to work. I think that she starts uh, working around 10 p.m. She finishes uh, work around 3 a.m. Then she has dinner around 3.30 and then she takes a taxi around 5 or something like that, right? So the thing is that her schedule, it's a little bit different. That's the thing. Como trabaja en la noche, she works at night. She goes to bed in the morning, right? When you guys are, you know, uh, getting up, cuando nos estamos levantando, she is just going to bed. Ella va a dormir. And that's the thing over there, right? Okay. Thank you. So we will continue with this. There's more practice for you this evening. And look at this title over here. Third person singular pronouns. Listen to four short conversations using the third person singular. And, and you will see different situations, may, maybe at a department store, et cetera, et cetera. So, don't make it still. All right. So what you will do simply, okay? I'm going to send the script for you. You listen uh, to the conversation over there and then you will take turns practicing. Significa que lo voy a mandar a practicar la segunda vez. But before doing that, antes de hacer eso, le voy a compartir el audio. Okay, so one second please over here. All right. Para qué nos va a servir? Para que practiquemos las terminaciones, verdad? Las S, ok? Finishes, works, etcétera, etcétera. No está de más y créanme, siempre se nos van a seguir olvidando, pero por lo menos vamos a tener la conciencia, ok? En decir, ok, no, it's not like that. I'm supposed to pronounce it, right? I'm supposed to pronounce it. Eh, let me just one second over here. Ok. Um, So I'm sending this to you right now, okay? So just one second. Uh, 
I'm um, also uh, doing the, the rooms, you know, very quickly. And we'll see here. 15 participants, all right. And here we go. Por cuestiones de derechos de autor, todavía no les comparto la pantalla de la conversación. But if you're so kind, please go ahead and open it up, please. And uh, tell me what you see in that screen, please. Okay, let's see. I'm about to share this screen. And uh, here we go. All right, so I'm going to share the screen, right? Just give me one minute. Okay, um, here we go. All right, so join the rooms, please. Join the rooms, please, everyone. Join the rooms, please. All right, so Anayan, si una, una sea los grupos, por favor. <laughs> Gracias. So, Catherine, please, if you don't mind. Si no se tiene problemas, si se puede unir, okay. Thank you. I see. Bye. Ahorita vamos a ver si ya nos lo envió porque yes, yes, no yes. lo veo. Ah, yes. sí, aquí está. <laughs> aquí está. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, somebody was calling me. Who's this one? This chance. Yeah, okay, creo que se equivoco. <laughs> okay. Okay. I have it here. You know, let me share it with you. All right. So nothing happens over here. Pero hagamos lo primero. Démosle play, verdad? Okay. Eh, okay. And listen to this. Get familiar with the pronunciation of everything. And then once you're familiar with everything, lo pronuncian no sé poquito poquito. And then you just practice as a conversation, right? So you go. What does your mom do? She sells women's clothing, etc. Pero primero. Let's listen to it, okay? Okay. Thank you. Pero nos vemos de otro ratito porque voy así, ¿verdad? Okay. Dice, dice, ¿es donde están los dibujitos o es el audio que está abajo? El mismo, este hecho. Lo mismo, ¿verdad? Sí, es lo mismo. Okay, okay. Thank you. It's the same, yes, all right. Women clothing. All right, so hello everyone. Did you play the audio already? Ya le dieron play al audio. No. Eh, reproduzcámoslo para que, para que escuchemos la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Esa es la idea, ¿verdad? Es ah, que... yo ya lo estaba escuchando. Ah, ok. Sí, escuchémoslo uh -huh. de forma individual, Oscar. Eh, and then uh, you can practice. All right? Conversation one. Okay. All right. What does your mom do? She sells women's clothing. Oh, yeah? Where does she work? She has a small shop in the mall. Does she? Where did we get to? What does what does does your mom do? She he she sells women's clothing. Oh yeah, where does she work? She has a small shop in the mall. Does she sell clothing for teens? No, she only has stuff for adults. Oh, who does it star again? It stars Brad Pitt. He plays a cop in the future. Does it have good reviews? It does. Everyone says it is a great movie. All right, so you're ready to practice. <laughs> that, that's, that's, that's the idea, right? Yes, first get familiar with the pronunciation and then produce, okay? Okay.
All right, so who starts? We have, uh, let's see, four conversations. Then, then this and Gusto, all right? Take terms. Okay. Okay. No sé quién va a seguir, así que. Va, voy a empezar yo, pues, ahorita. Uh, conversation one. Uh, woman, what does your mom do? She sells women's clothing. Oh, yeah. Where does he work? Hay un error, creo que es she work. She has a small shop in the mall. Uh, uh, does she, she still clothing for things? No, she only has a staff for adults. All right, thank you. There's there's one team over here. Okay, yes, there's a mistake in here. Uh, it's supposed to to be. Um, she work. Where, where, yeah, she. Where does she work? And where? just one thing: be careful where with the pronunciation. We say woman is only one, right? You say women, you say two or three, ah, women, right? Women. women, right? Yes. And, and in this case, the S is because it's position, right? You're talking about position. Yeah. But uh, yeah. women never take an S, just like children. No le van a poner nunca una S cuando digan, eh, tengo tres mujeres, all right? So I have three women. You don't say that, right? You say I have, you know, three women. <laughs> <laughs> oh, master, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue, please. <clears throat> Um, I don't know, maybe, um, let's see, Raul, you ask the questions, if you like, please, on the conversation number two, and then, um, Eduardo, you may answer, please, as you want, sir. Okay. Yes, yeah, sir, hold on, please. You want me to go, like, up over here? Ah, I'm sorry. There you go. Okay. okay. Conversation number two, uh, what does your brother do? He is an university student. He studies engineering. Oh. What does he like at home? No, he lives near campus. He has a small apartment. Does he come how much? No, he does. He doesn't have much free time. All right, so now Caesar, uh, you uh, respond and maybe uh, Eduardo, you ask a question. So go ahead, please, Eduardo. <clears throat> okay, conversation three. Who takes care? Who takes care of your daughter when you're at home? Okay. Perdón. Dale, conversation three. Who takes care of your who take who takes care of your daughter when you're at home? Uh, my mom watches her. She live, li lives ne near my house. Okay. Oh, that's good. convenient. Yeah, my daughter works uh, there after school. Wow, that that works uh, very well for you. Mm -hmm. He does. Plus, my daughter loves a uh, is. is is, is staying with her mm -hmm. grandma. Yeah, staying with her grandma. Okay. Is staying with her grandma. Is staying. Is staying. Okay. Um, let's do something over here. Uh, if, if you don't mind, Cesar, do the questions over here. And then, Eduardo, you are the woman in here, please. If you don't okay. mind. Okay. Conversation number four. <laughs> uh, when does the movie starts? It starts about in about 10 minutes cool does it start again it starts brad pitt he plays a cop in the future does it have will a review does everyone says it is a great movie everyone says it's a great movie yeah that's true so who does it start again since we're over there so let's go back to the main station because i think you guys practice one more minute please if you want to practice again, Raul, this is the opportunity. So you have one more minute to practice with Caesar over there. All right? Okay. Thank you. So I'll be back. <laughs>
All right, so welcome back, everyone. Give me just one sec. Come over here. There we go. Okay, so do you have any questions for me about the uh, pronunciation of, um, I don't know, maybe a word or something? We were able to find a mistake over here. You know, on conversation number one, uh, it, it, the woman is supposed to ask uh, where does she work? And then, et cetera, et cetera, right? So do you have any questions about maybe pronunciation, grammar, or something like that? Like stuff, what, what does a stuff mean? Okay, this is a basic word that is uh, very helpful to know it, all right? So what's the meaning of stuff, my friends? I don't know, is that a question? <laughs> yeah, who knows, please? Yeah, I'm serious. Yes, Here. I am, I am. All right, so let me help you then. Stuff means cosas, okay? The equivalent in Spanish or Salvadorian Spanish would be volado or volados, okay? Cosas, okay? <laughs> Artefactos, objetos, etc. Right? Stuff. Okay. También significa como cosas que usted tiene que hacer. You, you can say, I have lots of, or I have a lot of, or I have many stuff to do. Tengo muchas tareas que hacer, ¿verdad? Muchas actividades, muchas asignaciones. Right? Stuff over there. You can say things. Yes, Ana Yancy. En la conversación número tres o cuatro, creo que está una, pal una palabra que dice engineering, pero yo no pude decirla. Uh, engineering, engineering, ing, ing, engineering. Oh, ¿Dónde está? I think it's conversation two. Huh? Here it is engineering. Ah, oh, sí, sí, sí. It's engineering. Mm -hmm. Engineering. Engineering. Ingen Engineering, yes, engineering, Eng G, G, engineering, G. Como que dijera la letra G, engineering. All right, thank you. Any other question that you might have, uh, everyone? If there are no more questions, like people say it in weddings, como dicen en las bodas, y no se oponen, ¿verdad? <laughs> All right, so let's move on then. I'm, I'm going to stop sharing this screen. And believe it or not, it's 9.33 p.m. And we, we're just getting started with this. Ya pasamos hora y media, así que ya falta lo menos. All right. Here we go. Okay, so just a review. Remember, we're talking about information questions. What type of questions, my friends? Information questions or WH questions, et cetera, et cetera. Se llaman WH questions. Why? Because this starts with WH, 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 this is just an exception, right? And etc. Like what, where, when, who, how, what, when, etc. Or what time. So if I ask you, uh, what do I do? You would say, I supervise the production workforce. Or what do I do? What do, what do I do? ¿Qué hago? Una pregunta retórica, right? Re, uh, re, rhetoric question, right? Where do you work? El lugar, right? The place where you work. I work in the accounting department. When do we go to the meetings? ¿Verdad? ¿Cuándo? You know, when do we go to the meetings? We go to the meetings two times a week. How, right? How? No un saludo indio, ¿verdad? Nativo, you know, how? It's that something else, right? So it's como. How do they plan the marketing? They investigate the customer's needs. De acuerdo a las necesidades de los clientes okay what time do you have do you take breakfast puede decir take have or eat breakfast you got three options over there puede decir take breakfast have breakfast detener have e eat en este caso si usted dice have breakfast significa comer no, no, no significa tener el desayuno significa have I can ask you, let's say, I can ask uh, Dolores, I can ask. So Dolores, what time do you have breakfast? A hora desayuno? Have de tener, verdad? And then you can tell me what time. <laughs> so I'm asking you right now. Si le estoy preguntando de verdad. <laughs> okay. So what time do you have breakfast? If you actually have breakfast. 
Dolores. I... Me puede decir solo at, si gusta, o solo la hora. Seven. At. At. Seven. A.M. A.M., all right. Okay. Yes, I will understand that it's in the morning. So that's all I got to say about this. Don't worry, because it's not the last time. We will practice W's questions. Actually, eso significa de hecho, actually, this week will be all about WH questions. Esta semana va a ser acerca de las information questions or WH questions, okay, or open questions. De eso se va a tratar esta semana, right? Solo recuerde el cuándo, dónde, por qué, eh, y todas esas preguntas, right? If you uh, know something about journalism, acerca del periodismo, okay, you uh, should be familiar with this. Deberían de estar familiarizados con eso. So let's move forward over here. Now, there, there comes, a, you know, a small task that I, I, I'm assigning to you right now. Le voy a asignar una pequeña eh, actividad right now in class. Okay. Eh, so listen, please choose one day of the week and write it in the, in the blank. Okay. What do you do on this day? Complete the chart. In your notebooks. Okay. Or, or in a blank page, van a hacer ese esquema. You're going to do this diagram. Then choose one day during the week. Elegimos un día de la semana. It could be a weekday, Monday through Friday, or it could be a, you know, uh, over the weekend, right? It could be Saturday or Sunday. Solamente un día. Y usted va a poner, aunque sea one activity that you do in the morning. You will go in the morning. I go jogging. No sé, voy a trotar. But in the afternoon, eh, you go practice soccer, right? Technicking, people say, right? Technicking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. And in the evening, you go back to, you you know, go back home. And at night, you go, you go to sleep or uh, you watch a movie or just spend time with family. Okay? So you can choose a business day or the weekend over there. Okay, so divide the day in four parts, in the morning, in the afternoon, okay, in the evening, and at night, all right? Vamos a hacer la aclaración, ¿va? Entonces, ¿qué es evening y qué es at night? Pues evening, eh, cuando no nos referimos a el saludo, cuando comenzamos la clase o usted llega a un lugar que dice, okay, good evening, que buenas noches, okay? Como me decía mi abuelo, ¿verdad? Es como la oración, all right? Cuando ya está oscureciendo o está más o menos siete de la noche por ahí, ¿verdad? Good evening. Ok. La hora que la gente va a jugar fútbol a la gambeta, ¿verdad? Por aquí. Ok. Siete, ocho de la noche por ahí. All right. So that's evening. All right. Six, seven, maybe eight o'clock. Luego para allá. Eh, it's like at night. That's the difference over there. That's the difference. En cuestiones de tiempo, ¿verdad? Pero en cuestiones de saludo, cuando usted llega a un lugar, va a decir, good evening, all right? When you go, you have to say good night, okay? Okay, no questions. All right, so no questions over here. Uh, let's put this on hold for a second, okay? Let's put this aside. Yes, pongámoslo a un lado. Because there's something else that I want you to practice. Esto lo vamos a dejar para, creo que la última práctica del breakout room que vamos a tener es 9.40 almost, right? Let's move forward. My new apartment. This is a new activity that we will do tonight. And then there is another one. Entonces, tres actividades vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Poco a poco. So, three activities, little by little. I'm sorry. So, the first one is my daily, daily routine. Daily routine. Aprendámonos quizás estas palabras clave, ¿verdad? These keywords. My daily routine. And there you go. Okay. So, uh, good evening, everyone. My daily routine is... So uh, I wake up around 5.30 and then I take a shower and I uh, prepare my breakfast in the afternoon, et cetera, right? So I go somewhere, you may say, and then I finish work. In the evening, I have dinner and at night I watch the news, for example, something like that, right? Yeah, you can write a specific uh, things, but in este caso, last time expression, o sea, last las uh, periodos del tiempo van a ser in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, or at night. Okay. 
Now, next activity would be this one. Conversation, my new apartment, ¿verdad? Qué bueno, ¿verdad? Que así fuera. <laughs> my new apartment. <laughs> All right. And then uh, we will practice the grammar about this. So first, listen up and um, give me just a couple of seconds before I share this with you. Vamos a escuchar la conversación. Mientras tanto, en lo anterior, quizás ya lo completó, ¿verdad? De sus actividades de un solo día. All right. So your daily routine. Mientras yo busco el audio. All right. So it's my new apartment. <laughs> Page 44, exercise two, conversation. My new apartment. Listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. All right. Let me play it a second time, please. Let me play it a second time, okay? Oh, all right, so here we go. Metámonos en el papel, ¿verdad? De la pronunciación. La entonación cuenta mucho, all right? Intonation matters a lot over here, my friends. And one, two, three. Page 44, exercise two. Conversation. My new apartment. Listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. <laughs> so it doesn't have a great view, right? So it's like this, right? So no windows, no sun, right? No le da el sol. <laughs> right now sunlight over there now just for pronunciation purposes o sea por propósito de pronunciación I'll uh, repeat Linda and Chris's uh, part so you listen to me please okay la mejor uh, pronunciation is from the audio but at least hear me so guess what adivina que o adivina que guess what okay well, guess what uh, I have a new apartment. That's great. Uh, what's it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does he have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay. Link sounds. Uniones de sonidos. All right. Link sounds. All right. I have a, right? Have a, have a new apartment. That's great. What's, what's it like? What's it like? What's it like? What's it like? Aquí la T la vamos a disminuir o casi a omitir. What's it like? What's it like? Okay. No se vayan a complicar diciendo what's it like. No, digamos what's it like. Pero con entonación. So, what's it like? Right? So, all right? Si usted dijera esto, no contractado, tendría que decir, uh, what is it, right? What is it like? What is it like? What is it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Is it, is it a very big? Well, it has, it has a big, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom and a kitchen, you know, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Aquí puede decir near the university. Uh, does it, does it, does he have a view? Have a. Does he have a view? Yes, he does. He has a great view of another apartment building. All right. 
Oh, bueno, ahora Popping Bird. Esas son las, las uniones de sonidos más comunes que usted tiene que hacer, que le salen naturally. Naturalmente le tienen que salir esta, esta, esta pronunciación. Ok. Now, we're going to leave this aside just for a second. Do you have any questions for me, by the way? Or no questions? We're good? All right. What is so, building? Building. Uh, it's edificio. Edificio, sir. Yes. All right. Like two, three story building. You may say that. De dos pisos, tres pisos, right? Two, three story building. Now, simple present, sure answers. This is just a review. Remember, when you ask, do you live in an apartment? You go, do you? And if you go for somebody else, it's indirectly. You go, does Fulanito, does Chris, Jose, Maria live in a house? Short sure, answer, you go, yes. All right, simplemente, you just say yes. Or you go. You can go, yes, he does. Or yes, she does. Or no, he doesn't. Uh, no, she doesn't. Esto es solamente gramática, señores. In real life, you say yes, no. Or you say no comments, right? <laughs> okay, so that's the theme over there. So, and if you ask, do the bedrooms have the windows? No sé, ¿verdad? Tiene ventanas. So, do the bedroom have windows? You can say, yes, they do. O sea, la ventana, ¿verdad? O sea, perdón, los cuartos. No, they don't. Las habitaciones, right? Does the house have a yard? ¿Verdad? En nuestras casas a veces eh, no tiene patio o a yard. Y si así, no, a small one over there, right? Or the garden and the yard are the same. Okay, so that happens. So, in the last exercise that you will do tonight, va a poner... Complete the conversations, then practice with a partner. Now, now listen up, please. You don't have to write anything. O sea, lo importante es que usted tenga, la, la, que tenga sentido. So it, it has to make sense in your mind. Okay? Va a poner do or does. Y si es posible el verbo que complementa. All right? So you will write do, does, and the verb over here. All right, so you go, do you live in an apartment? Si le pregunta con live, of course you're going to answer it with live. Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house, etc., etc. Use the examples over here, okay? Eh, obviamente, first of all, you fill in the blanks and then you practice, okay? And that's what we will do. Regresemos. ¿Qué vamos a hacer en esta práctica que tenemos ahorita que va a ser un poquito larga? Quizás unos 10, 12 minutos. Va a comenzar. Ok. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is uh, Nancy and this is my daily routine. On Saturdays in the morning, I don't know, I go to church or I go to the market. In the afternoon, I prepare lunch. Or I go to church, you may say, again, etc., etc. In the evening, I prepare lunch or I go out with my family to Los Planes or something, right, to eat pupusas. And at night, I just stay home watching movies or something like that. Okay. La cuestión está que no se mire tan robótico. All right. So let's start with that. Eso van a comenzar. So you introduce yourself and then you talk about this. And then, y si es posible, no lo lea, por favor. Then you practice this. Como siempre está en grupos de tres, practice this one, two, three times, or one time, two times, and that's it. So, so that until everybody has practiced. Then you move on and fill in the blanks with this. You go, do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Does he have a yard? Yes, it does. That sounds nice, etc. Okay. And with this, we close the night. All right. So we're good. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. All right, thank you. So I'm making the groups right now. We have around 10 minutes, which is great timing. Okay, so one second. And here we go. There you go. Rooms have open. are open, my friends. Go ahead, please, and join them. Thank you. Teacher. Yes, sir. Apreté antes, creo yo. 
No, no. No se, no se inició, no se metió, Oscar. Yo lo, yo lo no, no. No, no. Ok. Um, vamos a ver con quién estaba asignado. Como lo hago al azar. Va con Eduardo. En el 1. Sí, es el 1. Vaya, entonces. Eh... Vamos a mover para, para aquí, para este lugar. Luego lo vamos a mover de regreso para el 1. Ahí está. Pruebe a ver si le aparece un mensajito. O creo que de una sola vez lo va a ingresar. Ok, ya. Yeah. Nice, all right. Ma, ¿está en mi teléfono? Lo voy a ocupar. <risa> Niña. <risa> Deja de jugar. En un descuido se lo quitó. En un descuido, así me pasa a mí que el niño de repente lo tengo y estoy trabajando en la mañana y me lo quito y sale para allá. <risa> No mal, no mal que solo para pasar a disistencia lo tengo y eso ya me acordé, fíjese. Ay, no, no ha pasado lista. No, todavía no. Pero ya me los puedo, ya me los puedo. Ya los tiene identificados, dice. Los tengo bien fichados. All right, go ahead. Right. Nos iba a mandar material. Fíjense que como el primero ahorita es de que ustedes digan in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Ah, pero igual lo estoy mandando. Va, está bien, porque no lo noté. Ya, ya tuvo que haber caído. Yes. Uh -huh. Who starts? ¿Quién, who breaks the ice? Vamos a ver quién rompe el hielo. Pero... <laughs> Comienzo. Ahí está bien. In the morning at 6 at, at a.m. No sé si está bien así. De hecho, la, la hora no es tan necesaria porque ya está diciendo si es en la mañana, ¿verdad? Entonces. Ah, ok. Ah. Solo digo lo que tengo que hacer, entonces. Exacto. Ya diga in the morning. Y ya diga lo que hace, ¿verdad? Ahorita el énfasis es en el lapso de tiempo, no en la hora en específica. Ah, ok. In the, morning, in the morning, I work in Chot Beach, el Tunco. Right. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Uh, para decir limpiar. I clean, clean, clean. I clean in the shop. In the shop, all right. In, in, the, in, the, in the evening, evening uh, I, I close a shop. The shop, all right. He at night, uh, is sleeping. You go to sleep. I go to sleep. I go to sleep. All right. Thank you. And is that on Saturdays or, or Sunday or, or, or Sunday, eh, Ana Yancy? And Saturday and Monday. No, and Saturday and Sunday. And Sunday. So, okay, the weekend then. Okay, thank you. Nice. So, uh, so see you later because I need to go to a different room. All right. <laughs> so, just one second. Mejor para mí, dice. <laughs> <laughs> 30 a.m. In the afternoon, I drink coffee at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. In the evening, I go to my home at 5.30 p.m. And at night, I sleep at 10.30 p.m. Like a good kid, right? You drink coffee, huh? <laughs> you, you, Eduardo, do you drink coffee or something else, sir? I mean... Depends. Ah, okay. uh, yeah, we're adults over here, boy. <laughs> depends. Depends. Coffee, it, it depends on the occasion, right? It depends if you're celebrating something, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's okay. All right. Okay. The conversation. My new. Hello, hello. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Hello? Are you okay? Are you sí, gentlemen? Are you gentlemen practicing the conversation or something else? 
or still working on the daily routines? Todavía están acá, la daily routine. I... All right, all right, go ahead, please. Sorry. Okay, okay. ¿Sigue Baltasar o, o voy yo, Balta? Yo no sé si me entendieron a mí o medio. <risa> sí, 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 sí. sí. Sí, la verdad es que o, sí. o pasamos bueno, de noche. Bueno, More or less. Voy, voy so, so, right? So, so. Ah, teacher, how, what is, uh, how do you say este, recoger? Es pick up, o, pero dijo una palabra antes, pero es que ahorita ya voy manejando. Sí, es pick up, de hecho, es pick up. Pick up, y como diga, pero pick up es como recoger, ¿verdad? Sí, que como que un carro, alguien lo pasa, pero elegir es choose, elegir, ¿verdad? Choose. Ah. Choose. Aquí está, de hecho. Estoy con... Bueno, no, no alcanza a ver, pero choose, ¿verdad? C-H-O-O-S-E. -O -O choose. Como elegir. Ese es elegir. Choose. choose. Ah. Choose. Y para ir a dejar es drop off. Drop off, exacto. Un paquete lo voy a dejar. Ok, I need to drop off alguien o drop off. O alguien, uh, ¿verdad? Sí, exacto. Vamos, I, I, I'm going to drop off my mom at the airport. Pero la voy a dejar. I can y... say I... I, I, I... I pick up uh, the personal of yes. the gym and drop off the his house or their their house. Their house. Yeah, you can say that. So you can say uh, at night or every day, I pick up the company's personnel uh, yes, yes, at, their, at their houses and I have to uh, drop them up, you know, at their houses. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That's what you do, right? I, when I, you're driving, huh? Yes, yes. All right. That's good. That's good. Well, right. Y cuando yo le digo haga una, haga una elección Douglas o elija, yo también le puedo decir make de hacer a choice, choice. Elección. Make a choice. Make a choice. Make a make choice. choice. Decidite pues, choice. decídase. Ajá, make a choice. All right. Ah, ok, ok. Ok. Ah, make a choice. Choice. Yes, make a choice. Tome una elección o elija. Okay, All right. Okay. Continue then. Yes. Okay. Bueno, my turn. Eh, hello, everybody. I'm Juan Alas. My daily routine is this. In the morning, I get up at 7 a.m. And, and I take my shower at 7.15 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, I go to the company at the... 8 a.m. In the afternoon, I take my lunch around one, one to one to to two mm -hmm. p.m. and I take my break at four oh, at yeah. four p.m. Mm -hmm. In the evening, I I play soccer usually at Nine, nine, nice. nine p.m. Okay. And I go to my home. Uh, and at okay. night, I go to the bed early around 11, 11 of, of 12. <laughs> that's, that's not early. <laughs> For some of us, that's not early, but that's yes. okay. No, no, no. Yeah, you, you, so, Juan Carlos, you are a night owl. For, for, it's alguien nocturno, you know, a night owl. Look at my night. screen, please. Look at my screen. For me, it's early. Because... Yeah, that, that's why, because you're you are, you are a night owl. Alguien que es nocturno es a night owl. No, no. Night owl. Y si es alguien que es este, madrugador. Night out. Uh -huh. si, es, si es nocturno, es night owl. Si ¿Cómo, se, ¿Cómo se escribe night? Aquí está mi pantalla. De como de noche, night out. Oh, Look at my screen, sir. Look at my screen. Okay. I think I'm sharing the screen over there. Yes? La noche y luego un búho. Ah, okay. I can send, I can share it with you later. Okay. Ya lo voy a comprar. Night out. Night out. But I consider I am a, an early owl. bird. Because I, I early wake up. Beard. I'm an early bird because I wake up around 5.20 or 5.30. Okay. okay. Yes. What about you? Uh, okay. Let's see who, who's in the house. Let's see. Don Balta, Mr. Balta. Are you an early Hola, bird? Teacher. Are you an yes. early bird or a night owl? 
Eh, ¿Es usted madrugador o es nocturno? Eh, ¿Cómo diría Mike Up? Eh, 8 am. am. I, I am, I am. I, I get up. I, I am. Eh, 8, 8, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? 8 am. 8 am. Quiere decir que se levanta a las 8, eso quiere decir. Eh, sí. Bueno, hoy con, la, hoy, hoy con la pandemia sí. Sí, igual, igual yo antes me levantaba a las cuatro y media, hoy una hora más tarde. Sí, este, eh, yo a la misma hora. Eh. <ríe> Pobrecito. <ríe> Pobre. Lo siento. Mi modo, I'm sorry about that, man. <ríe> ok, eh, no worry. Eh, eh, at least, at least eh, we have a job, right? At least we have a job. We have a job, right? Um, eh, menos gracias a Dios. No, Vamos a hacer algo, ¿verdad? Para que no nos compliquemos. Y quiero ver qué hora es. Ya, ya es hora prácticamente, ¿verdad? Entonces, mantengámonos con esta frase, si gusta, Mr. Balta. Eh, digamos, sí. ok, in the morning, I get up at, ah. I, I get up at seven. Solo un día, ¿verdad? ¿Qué día me está diciendo? What's the day you're talking about? Eh, lunes, lunes. All right, so on Mondays, you can say, ah, in the morning, I get up at eight. And in the afternoon, I have lunch. Solo elíjame una acción que hace en la mañana. An action hace a mediodía, otro que hace en la tarde noche y luego que hace en la noche. Solo bueno, este, me voy, eh, a las ocho me voy a, a mi trabajo, Ajá, no sé sí, cómo sí. decirlo. Sí, pero puede decir in the morning, yeah, eight, oh, oh, es que si dice in the morning, ya si se entiende que es en la mañana, no tiene que decir. Ah, in eh, the morning. Clock. Ok, ah, so okay. in the morning okay. I go to work, go to And work. I go to work. Ajá, Ajá, okay. In the afternoon. Uh -huh. Este afternoon, mm, almuerzo. I have lunch, I have I have lunch. lunch. I have lunch in, in the uh, evening. Uh, nos diría? agarra el tráfico. <laughs> ah, no, yeah. Yes. Yeah, a that's a hate, it, right? No. I I I uh stay yes, I hate it. Yes. Uh, yeah, okay. Yes. I stayed in the traffic, but I stay, but I me quedo en el tráfico. Hay otra frase One que hour se or two hour. hours. <laughs> or two hours, yes, it's stuck, right? I see verdad, Torado, it's stuck. Yeah. Stuck ah, in the stuck. trap. Stuck, yes. Eso, In the evening, at night, sir, Mr. Balta. At night, uh, dormir. I go. I go to sleep. Studying English. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I yes, nadie uh, me vimos. I study English. But uh -huh, lo que vamos a hacer English. entonces, Mr. Balta, vamos a anotar el verbo, el sujeto. El, el, luego el verbo y el complemento, ¿verdad? Para que no nos saltemos los procesos. So, okay. gentlemen, since time is up, I don't think we have time to, to practice uh, something else. I'm just going to give you one more minute, practice this conversation. Okay. Come back to the okay. main station and then we say goodbye, all right? Okay. Okay, okay. One more minute, please. Okay. All right, so so we're done, uh, everyone. So you, you may leave, and I hope you have a great uh, rest of the night. Um, I just gotta wait for your classmates, you know, to 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 go back over here. Okay. Okay. All right. So just one second over here. So tomorrow we will continue with this conversation. Okay. I may ask some volunteers to give me. Uh, uh, I mean, to practice in front in front of the class. And then uh, we, I'm going to ask if you can help me with the responses with Linda, Chris, and, and, and yeah, with them over here. Because I know that some of you did not have a chance to practice this uh, fill in the blanks exercise. And then tomorrow we will continue with the word power. Vamos a elegir palabras, armchairs, sillones, stove, curtains, pictures. All right, vocabulary for tomorrow. You're going to okay. organize this, et cetera, et cetera. 
and then we take you from there. All right. So, but let's see. Um, let me see who's in the house right now. Let's look at the attendance. Yeah, we're good. All right. So, see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Okay. See you tomorrow. All right. See you. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night. See you later. Good right. night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, Mr. Belta. <laughs>